Hey, want to make a game engine? Here's five mistakes that I made so that you don't have to. One, choose a graphics API, but also choose a version. I started my engine in legacy OpenGL because it was what I was familiar with, but I soon learned that I was locked out of some features like compute shaders that I wanted to implement in the engine. But by then I had to do this massive refactor and I could have just avoided it had I thought earlier about what version I wanted to target. Um, so Legacy OpenGL is great. There's a lot of great resources out there. It's super easy to understand and the calls are very explicit. Modern OpenGL, the resources are a lot more advanced and verbose and difficult to understand, but it's also way more convenient, especially with like SSBOs and having all your data in one place. For modern OpenGL, I'd recommend the J Stefano GitHub. I'd also recommend um, OGL Dev on YouTube. It's a super great resource. Uh, and for legacy, there's this book by um, Jason L. McKesson at this GitHub. Um, it's got like a great amount of like math in it and stuff like that that you may find hard to find elsewhere. To be prepared to use all of the features of your programming language to your advantage. I knew C before this project uh, pretty well, but I wasn't extremely familiar with how to use unions and specific types. I ran into a lot of bugs because of this and it really slowed me down. Um, I'd recommend brushing up on all of the lesser known features and how you can use them before you start this uh, because it ended up really neg negatively impacting my engine because I ended up splitting up structs, arrays, way more than I had to, and my rendering pipeline became very uh, complicated instead of simple. So that's what I recommend. Three, profile. Um, don't optimize things that aren't actually the bottleneck. Um, you're going to learn here how fast a CPU actually is and the bottleneck 90% of the time is going to be rendering calls and um, sending buffers to the GPU, stuff like that. Uh, so I'd really recommend using the NVIDIA profiler or just doing your own timers just to figure out where the actual bottlenecks are and what you can improve. Um, if you haven't done something like an engine before, something low level, high performance, uh, this concept might be completely new to you. Um, it was kind of new to me at the time, but you're definitely going to learn how to use timers and how to figure out where the bottlenecks are. Um, from my experience, my CPU time is one tenth of my, uh, of my rendering time. Um, so it's really not a lot at all. Um, so you may think that like all this, collision entity stuff is going to actually slow you down but 90 percent of the time it's the gpu stuff um four none of your time is actually wasted you may think that that hour you spent tracking down that typo or searching the internet for some formula is wasted time but it wasn't all of that is like really important experience that's going to make you faster at recognizing those patterns logging and searching for answers uh, thinking of all that time is wasted is it just only makes you afraid of failure um, Which it really slows you down and doesn't let you accomplish your goals at all And I want you to do great things to so do them uh, Five get comfortable with your development environment for me. This meant giving up my vs code setup I was never really happy with it, but I got comfortable with it I also got my mechanical keyboard out of the closet um, I need to really agree with my tools and not fight them all the time vs code was laggy and it was hard to navigate my code base um so don't ever get too comfortable the good thing about living in a world with so many developers is that there's like an incredible amount of things to choose from um so that's it um thanks for watching uh you can subscribe for more of this programming game engine stuff we also have a discord that you can join um it's pretty cool in there if you're into any of this stuff. Also, I do some coding live, so I'd like to see you there. Uh, thanks for watching.